No games for this? Could you, could you do 35 on it? It's yours? 35? Yeah. Yep, she's Great. off for that one. It's just, we just finished charging it overnight. So okay. Go. Great, thanks. Go. All right, thank you very much. Um, I guess, w would you happen to have any other, this would probably be it for video games? Yeah, I'm looking for like N6, N64 or anything like that, no. Nintendo, this would be it. Okay. Yeah, this <laughs> what, what did we say, 45? 45. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, what's going on guys, CJR here on a beautiful Saturday morning uh, with another garage sale video. Today we are in Baden, Ontario for a uh, community sale. I'm with Matt again. Hey. Uh, we've actually already hit a few sales. It's gone pretty well so far. First sale I hit of the day, we found a um, pink 3DS XL in really nice condition. They had 50 on it, got it for 35 bucks. So a really good deal there. And then the second sale we hit, I'll just show it like this. Huge bag full of stuff. Um, a black Wii for like 10 or 15 bucks, couple games. Um, there's a GBASP in there, a DS whole bunch of Pokemon games really really good deal I ended up paying 45 bucks for everything they had on their table it was all such good stuff and it was really fairly priced so um, really nice deal there so uh, we're off to a good start uh, we've already hit uh, probably 10 sales and it's 10 to 7 so uh, we should hit a lot of sales today and uh, hopefully we'll do well Yeah, I usually ask. A lot of people don't even think to put it out, so. What else we got here? Oh, here's a. Do you have. Oh, can I see the DS in there? Oh, oh look, there's games in there. We should take those out. Why it's not going to want to lose these. Oh, okay, you're not selling them? No. <laughs> That's for the uh, old. Does he have a 3DS? This that's the older one. Yeah, that would be for this. Yeah. Those are the They're both older. The same, so one of them can go with okay. the game. They're both the same game. Um, okay, yeah, I'll check. You just turned it on last night and it works. Yeah, they, they're really good like that, actually. And they'll hold, hold their charge for mm -hmm. years. It was still charged. Yeah. All right, just made another pickup. It's, it's really pouring right now. When it's raining, it's pouring. Anyways, uh, probably like the third out of five sales that had video games, um, and we found some decent stuff here. We got a uh, DSi XL um, with uh, Sonic Classic Collection and uh, Resident Evil Wii Edition. Did you check if it's in there? Oh, I see. It felt like it is, but I just got it. it. Is, okay, cool. Yeah. So it's complete for two bucks. So twelve bucks for all that stuff at that sale that you won't be able to see because it's too bright, I think. But uh, anyways, great start to the day. Oh yeah, you talking about it worked and didn't work and worked and didn't work. So five bucks and like, they're I don't a pain. Know. They're a pain in the neck. I know they are. So now. it's like it works now and then I went through three of them. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Like so, it's just yeah. So it is what it is. Like I yeah. We can't guarantee, but it works really plugged in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. You can leave it. I'll just take these. Yeah, yeah well sure. Done. Thanks a lot. Thank you. No problem. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Go ten on these three. All right, at those sales behind Matt's big head, we uh, picked up a few things there. Uh, two Xbox games, uh, the Orange Box and Left for Dead for a dollar each, and then a couple of pretty good Wii titles. Um, they wanted five bucks a piece. I got three for ten. Mario Kart, Smash Brothers Brawl, and uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. So not a bad pickup. I'm thinking that we might move on and back, go back into the city. We're in a small town right now, just outside of the main city. Uh, but I've hit all these houses over the past couple of years. So I don't know how much better we're going to do. I think we got a little bit lucky this morning. Okay. Um, was, uh, can I put on the table? Yeah. Um, 
Did, was the Game Boy still up there? I never had a Game Boy. Or sorry, the have, uh, GameCube? No, I think they both have a Oh, okay. Yeah, if I, we're definitely interested in uh, if N64 or uh, okay. GameCube for sure. I would rather, like, this one was like my plastic that I grew up with. Like so we really collect them and him and I play them together. So, oh, yeah, and I've got uh, oh, a. Oh, perfect. I'm looking for Super Nintendo too. Yeah, oh, we. This is in, oh, that's, this one's at 64? That's what, that's Super Nintendo. Oh. Um, I can offer you everything we have. Um, 60 bucks. Um, I have one more number to try. I've got another 10. Would you do 70? Yeah. That can. That's this. Is this just for the games or for, no, for, for, for yeah? Yeah. Um, uh, this is like hard for me to get rid of. <laughs> I know. It's like a sentimental thing, I not get like it. a I financial get it. thing right now yeah. because I mean I've had it for how long? Yeah, yeah. I, the thing yeah. I always say of you, when's the last time you played it? You know. Yeah. Right. For mm -hmm. sure. It might eventually become actually worth something I want to I'm offering you everything we've got. No, yeah. I know. And I'm not, I will probably take it. I just want to try and get the game to just for I would, I don't care. I have no sentimental as to those. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. Um, so what are you wanting everything? Yeah. yeah. This, uh, this game alone is 30 bucks online for sale, eh? That, what, I, I know that's what people yeah. ask. I understand Crazy. that whole thing, but. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. I could hug yeah. you right yeah. now. No. Do you want a bag? You just made one of the best uh, scores I've, I've ever made. Okay, so I went to the sale, asked for video games, did my list thing, and the girl peeked up when I said Super Nintendo. I've been dying to find some Super Nintendo stuff. Uh, this year has all been basically newer stuff, so really happy to see this. This is one of the hardest negotiations I've ever had. Hopefully you saw it on camera. Um, at one point, the girl... Uh, she was she wasn't sure when she said that she had N64, Super Nintendo, and GameCube. It was the N64 that she wasn't sure about selling. Um, she put it out. She brought it out. As she's looking for it, the husband says all of her stuff is always in perfect condition. Still has the boxes. So she came out. Can you hold this? Oh yep. Okay. She came out with this, okay. a boxed and pretty mint uh, Super Nintendo. If it's not in there, it's bricks in there, and they tricked us. <laughs> uh, and then a bag full of games here. Holy and the games are pretty much all AAA titles. We'll go. I'll show you what's exactly yeah. in here when we get back to the house. But yeah. um, intense yeah. negotiations. I offered everything we had. Yeah. Um, I offered sixty right off yeah. the bat, and then I remembered I had seventy in my back or another ten in my back pocket. So yeah. ended up paying seventy dollars. But the guy started looking stuff up on eBay, yeah. and thank God he looked up Mario Super Mario World oh. and didn't grab some of the other titles. Yeah. We somehow convinced them to uh, to sell the system and games. So. I'm very happy. It's been a great day. I'm actually going to leave this area now. We're out of money. We're going to go get money and go back into the city and try our luck there. Where'd you like, bro? Yeah. Now it's big. In, in, you know, fair honesty or whatever. Yeah. It was successfully modded. Okay. <laughs> successfully. Yeah. Like, we've gone Do 10 years without the Red Ring of Death, so... Yeah. They weren't as bad for that. Yeah. It was the 360 that... Uh, did you survive that with your 360? We never had. It was a, <clears throat> a kid that I taught. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> he did it for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Says, well, I can do that. Yeah. I, I did that back a couple kidding? years ago, too. Um, do you know that he put a bigger hard drive in? No. It's original the same. hard drive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, when, what would you want for it? Idea. These guys, they don't go though. for they don't go for much anymore. Well, that's, that's what I mean. Um, I could offer you like ten bucks for the stuff. All right, I think that's all right. Okay. Not gonna... Another quick pickup. Um, just picked up another modded Xbox. As he was bringing it out, and just as I'm about to make the deal, he mentions it's modded, which is a bonus. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a hard drive in it though. So, uh, original fat Xbox and four games. One of them was this Serious Sam. I'm really happy to see that. I don't think I have that on the Xbox. And then the rest are snickle fritz. But really happy to get that. Serious Sam. Um, paid 10 bucks. We're headed back to the city. We are just leaving that little small town that we started in. Uh, it's only 20 after 8. And look at my back seat. It's full of games. 20 after 8. And it's already been the best day of the year for me. Um, that Super Nintendo score, I think, is better. Most of you will remember I, I picked up that Super Nintendo score with a box, Secret Evermore. Secret of Evermore, boxed uh, Mario RPG. It, it rivals that. The games, the, the games that were in there. Uh, if you saw from the video, 
were really good stuff. And I mean, the system is boxed and complete and like looks like it's pretty good condition. Uh, so yeah, very happy. Easily already the best day of the year for me. And it's 20 after eight. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy right now. Matt's still looking for GameCube stuff. We're doing good. Doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> we high five about four or five times already. I'm so excited to get that. I think Super it might have helped when I was there. Yeah, that might be good luck. So let me know in the comments below. I'll leave a link to Matt's channel again. Um, I think Matt's going to be with me for the next couple weeks. So having fun. Yeah, I like having him with me. Sounds good. Any other video games around? Uh, I had a VTech, but I already sold that. <laughs> <laughs> that you, this is nuts. Okay, you sold the VTech, but the Super Nintendo's here. Yeah. It's usually the other way around for me. We have VTech, but <laughs> yeah, great. I'll, I'll take All right. it. There you. There is. A, I'm not sure what that is. Oh my God. Okay, first off, Matt is my good luck charm. <laughs> I can't believe this. We, I am so giddy right now. We go to the sale. I'm about to ask. It looked really promising. They had like, I don't know, how do I, they had a young a boy. I always say, I always get excited when I see young boys. Uh, probably like a, I know, I know. Probably like a 13 year old boy. Bunch of sports equipment. That It's always a good sign. Um, oh my God, I'm shaking. So I ask if they have video games and right as I ask, I see this box. Where's the price on it? Oh, oh, let me see. It's right here. 10 bucks right here. Okay. So this is what I saw on top of the box. Super Nintendo, 10 bucks. And look at this. We got S Super Mario World. Don't That's show them all, we gotta wait for the recap. Oh, so There's more in there than four, isn't there? I don't know. Oh, there is. There's a whole bunch. Is. There's like eight to 10 games, oh, Super Nintendo. Uh, eight to 10 games, Super Nintendo, really clean. It uh, looks, looks like a really nice one. So uh, just stay tuned for the recap and I'll go through all the games. 10 bucks, amazing. <laughs> You got uh, Genesis too? I, I don't know. I see I, one Genesis game yeah. in the bottom there. Do you know if you have the Genesis um, too? I don't or know. This... I just looked through this yesterday. Okay. Uh, what would you want for it? Um, no. I don't know. What would you... I was going to offer you 20 bucks for it. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good and, one. Um, uh, you looking for more Genesis? Is that yeah, do you think you might have it okay. here? Or... Uh, if we do... do you want to take a look? Yeah, any video game stuff. Any video games. See, there you go. Game Boys, uh, I don't know, Super Nintendo, N64. Like, I think I have this one. It's a black one. Go bring it down. I'll bring it down. Yeah, anything you can find. But I think the games for it is in there, too. Yeah, there's some Genesis stuff in here, so. Here, I'll give you another. Would you take another five for that? Sure. It's not quite as good as the Nintendo. Yeah. Can you help me try this? I got it. I think the games are inside. Yeah, there. they are. I saw them in there. All right. It makes sense to have a system, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks for pulling that out. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, sale just behind us there. I don't know what's happening today, but this is one of the best days I've ever had. Uh, and it's only nine o'clock. So, Matt, um, I think Matt's. Anyways. <laughs> Here's the pickup. I asked if they had games. Um, once I mentioned Nintendo, the uh, older lady who lived there was like, oh yeah, Nintendo. So the boy runs in, grabs this box, uh, brings, out, brings out the box. Uh, it's got an NES in there. Um, and then I noticed oh, there's sorry. some- Some cord stuck here. Here, man. Just... First stuck there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so NES, I noticed there was some Genesis stuff inside there. I haven't even looked, I didn't even look at the games. Uh, so we'll check those out when we get home. I noticed there was Genesis games. And uh, so I asked uh, about the Genesis. So he quickly ran back inside and grabbed the Genesis. Got the uh, NES stuff, offered him 20 and they were, I think they were expecting way less. They were super happy. They're like, yep, that's great. Five bucks for Genesis. And then I gave him another five for the Genesis. So 25 bucks for that whole box of stuff. Yeah. I, this is one of my, I don't even remember. I'm sure there was a better day last year, but this is definitely uh, a memorable day. All right, another pickup at the sale back there that you can't see. Pretty nice box of stuff here. Uh, there's a PS2 Slim, a PSP, uh, some game, Game Boy stuff here, boxed, complete Game Boy stuff, um, and a Wii. The whole box, 50 bucks. 
Do you know if it works? Probably hasn't been it, used in a while, it eh? It works. Has it been modded, do you know? Yeah, that's typical these days, yeah. All right, another pickup. Uh, 15 bucks, another Xbox, and a stack of actually decent games. Um, Destroy All Humans is in there. Um, I mean, it was worth it. I, I really, I gotta stop picking up Xboxes, but when they're that cheap, I, I'll take a chance on them. By the way, look at, I'm out of room here. I don't remember, I don't remember my back seat ever being this full. This is a really crazy day. And by the way, it's 20 after 9. Okay. Can I take a look at those? Alright, we scored again. I, I don't know what's happening. Open the box there. Okay. Uh, a really nice DS bundle. Two boxed and complete systems. One of them is a special edition, I don't know, probably a pop, what's it called? I was looking at Nintendo. Anyways, really good games in there too. Uh, Super, what is it? Super Princess Peach. Yep. Yoshi, uh, Me Island Medios DS. was in there. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and Neo Pets, a Capcom puzzle game. That looks kind of cool. So it's we're still going strong here. So we're headed back to my, our, well the area that we grew up in, and uh, we just had a sale. We were actually at another sale, and somebody there, I guess, when I said Super Nintendo, he was like, "Oh, I got a Super Nintendo." I was like, this is crazy. I'm like, okay, great, would you bring it out? He's like, oh, it's at my house, but I live down the street. So he told us to come back in a half hour. Um, I saw him, he already went to his house, so it's gonna be a little less than that. So I'm gonna go back in about five minutes here. And uh, the problem is, as soon as we left, I saw him pull out his phone and he was showing his wife something on his phone. So I don't know if he started looking stuff up on eBay or what, but... Uh, We'll see. Hopefully, it'd be pretty insane if we can get three Super <laughs> Nintendo bundles. Uh, I know I've got three Super Nintendos in one day. I remember getting three Super Nintendos and a couple NES systems at one point. But uh, the two bundles that we've got, uh, game-wise, have been epic. Been crazy. Uh, we also hit a sale where a guy said he had a Master System and like 60 games. So. Um, thinking that maybe I'll stop by and give him my number, but he did not want to part with it. He said he, said he was pretty nostalgic to it, so. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if we were able to pick up this uh, Super Nintendo bundle. Maybe it works great, but Ken Griffey is my favorite all time. Yeah. All the jacks and stuff. I don't know if I can do 60. I can offer you 40 for it, just because this is really the only good game. The rest of those are not great. It's pretty yellow too. How about 45? Um, did you throw those NES games in? Honestly, those are like dollar NES games. All right, fine. Okay. Okay, so the guy came through on the uh, Super Nintendo bundle. Um, I wish it was that easy. I actually went there. Uh, the first time and he had some NES stuff out on the table uh, and then he said yeah I don't want to sell the Super Nintendo um, okay so I picked this up for three bucks I'm not sure why he wanted five each but I thought I needed it I don't um, and he had three other like just Snickle Fritz NES games uh, so I said to him um, how come what, what makes you what made you decide to not sell the uh, Super Nintendo and he's like oh, I kind of still play it once in a while and I'm like well I'd be willing to offer you up to $60 for it 
and uh, he's like, oh, okay, and then he's like, oh, I think I'm gonna hold on to it. So I said thanks, and uh, I left my number. I said, if you know, if you decide to sell it, just let me know. Um, then he calls me as I'm going down the driveway, and his wife said, you need to sell that, and, and he said, uh, I'm willing to sell it. So then he went back to his house. I went and dropped Matt off at work, came back. Um, he had games out on the table. I don't know why people do that. Anyways, um, oh, he had this NES games out on the table, and he had the Super Nintendo in the box. Thank God. Uh, so it worked out that I picked this up. I I couldn't give him sixty bucks. I told him it's uh, you know the only good Super Nintendo game here is Mario World, and it's pretty yellowed. Uh, other than that, it's in good shape. Other than the yellowing, um, so I set it off from forty. He said, "How about forty-five? And uh, I got him to throw in the last three NES games for so for 45 bucks I got everything in this box obviously I'm very happy about that three uh, pretty nice Super Nintendo bundles that's insane it's very hot out here you can see I'm really sweaty and gross it's probably 30 degrees and it's uh, when it gets hot here in Canada it's pretty we have pretty hot summers but it gets really humid so it's hard to do almost anything Anyways, I am headed back. I might hit one more, two, one or two more sales if I see them on my way. But a uh, pretty epic day. Hey, what's going on, guys? CJR here, back at the house. As you saw from the video footage, a absolutely epic day. I just finished live streaming on Twitch, so anybody who was there, thank you for checking it out. Had actually a lot of viewers today. Um, I'm live on Twitch every Saturday at 1 p.m. going through the finds that I found that day. Anyways, uh, I've been rambling on with these videos. They've been too long. I apologize for last week. Uh, there was some autofocusing issues. I'll be using this camera from now on, um, but I've got to move a little quicker. I told most of the stories in the footage that you saw in car and stuff. So I, I don't wanna try and double up on everything. I'm pretty much just gonna go through everything. I might tell a little short story about each one. So, uh, okay, quickly starting off here, I picked up two Xbox lots, as you saw. Um, one was <clears throat> $10 with a couple games. The one, it was modded. Um, the screws have been taken out of the bottom, so I'm hoping that they put a hard drive in, but the guy said that he didn't know. So, came with four games, the best of which is Serious Sam and the other three are Snickle Fritz. The other Xbox bundle I found uh, was not modded, I paid 15 bucks. Both bundles came with all the cables, two controllers. Uh, it came with this stack of games. We got Matt Hoffman Pro BMX, ESPN Basketball, Sega GT, Jet Set Radio Future Combo, NHL 2002, Tie 3, or Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 3, Tony Hawk 2X, uh, Brothers in Arms, uh, Brute Force, We've got Star Wars Episode 3, Amp Snowboarding, uh, some good ones here, Destroy All Humans, uh, Jade Empire, and Crimson Sky. I mentioned on the live stream, uh, stay tuned for uh, a new Crimson Skies. It's got to be announced this year for the Xbox One. So two pretty good Xbox bundles. I'll pick up an Xbox if it's modded um, or if I can get them for like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, people like modding them and people actually seek out the modded ones um, Here in Canada modded Xbox. I think I flipped one for like 75 bucks last week. So really good uh, Good thing to flip because you can get it cheap picked up a Star Wars plug-and-play for two bucks didn't have that one picked up the uh, Adventures of Super Mario Bros 3 DVD set for a buck uh, picked up one uh, Xbox game they had a bunch there and a PS3 that they wanted 150 bucks for, so I passed on that. This is Dai Sen Senraiaku, uh, modern military tactical game. Uh, that was two bucks. Uh, two 360 games here. We got Left for Dead and the Orange Box, Dollar Each on those. <clears throat> Picked up three Wii games. Uh, went to the sale, the guy had the Wii system for 50 bucks with a couple crappy accessories, tennis rackets. And he won five each on the games. Um, got Super Smash Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, and uh, New Super Mario Bros Wii. Got all three for 10 bucks. Pretty decent deal there. Uh, just down the street from that one actually. Uh, asked if they had games, I saw some Wii stuff so I said any other video games and they pointed to this. It's a uh, blue DSi XL in, uh, in decent shape, some minor scuffs but for 10 bucks, that's a good good pickup. And uh, they also had Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, really good version of this game actually, for two bucks. And this actually came with Sonic All-Star, or Sonic Mega Collection on the DS. Uh, my first pickup of the day, 
as you guys saw, uh, was this pink 3DS XL. I'm actually a big fan of this. I love the uh, I love the systems with white. I'm so used to seeing black. So even the 2DS with the white, I think it looks so clean and nice. I asked him to stop yelling. Uh, they had 50 on it. I got it for 35. Uh, really happy with that. I think I flipped a regular 3DS for $80 with a game, so they resell pretty well. As you guys know, I, I flipped some of this stuff to pay for the collection and pay for my pickups today. Um, okay, I've got like six boxes worth of stuff here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. I guess I'll go with probably my best pickup that's sitting right here. Um, I don't know how much video footage I got of this, but uh, it was an intense negotiation. Um, I mentioned it all in the video. I ended up getting it for $70 for everything here. Um, I opened this up and uh, it's in mint condition. I don't want to open it again. The uh, AV cable still in the shrink wrap. It has never been used. There's two controllers. Um, the bottom of this one is yellowing, which I, you rarely, rarely see just the bottom. It's either just the top or the whole thing. So bottom of this one's yellowing. It's okay. I'll show you why in a second here. Other than that, it's in really nice condition. And then here is the bag of games. I don't know how much, I haven't uh, edited the video footage yet. Uh, this is literally a, a couple hours after I got this stuff. So um, I don't know what, if I was able to show what was in the video. <clears throat> I have since seen all the games. I'll try and go from worst to first, which is hard because these are all good games. Uh, we've got Speedy Gonzalez, Los Gatos Banditos. Porky Pigs, Haunted Holiday. I think I found that last year. We got Super Mario World, Mario Kart, Mario All-Stars, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. All in pretty good condition except for the first two. Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. Uh, we got Turtles in Time and Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Really happy to find that at a garage sale. Um, obviously a very epic Super Nintendo score. I paid $70. It was everything I had on me at the time. Um, and it was not easy. I was very lucky to walk out of here, uh, out of there with, with this bundle. So very, very happy that I found this. Um, so after that huge epic pickup, I at that point I was, um, it was all gravy from there. It was already a fantastic day and it was only quarter to eight in the morning. Uh, by by 8.30 today, my back seat was full of games. Um, I don't remember ever finding so much stuff so early in the day. Uh, probably my best day. This is, there's four more boxes here and then there's still this one. So five more boxes to go. <laughs> I'm trying to move through this quickly. Uh, where should I go next? Went to a sale, asked if they had games. They mentioned uh, DS stuff, so I was like, sure, I'll take a look. Uh, surprisingly nice bundle. Uh, one GBA game, Peter Pan, something or other. I think I actually need that. Uh, the two DSs were with the boxes and complete. So Crimson Red, and then this special edition pink one, which is actually really nice. The white looks kind of blown out. It's got a little paw on it, I'm guessing, for Nintendogs. And here's the system with Nintendogs in it. Really nice condition too. That was the girls system came with a little purse type thing. The crimson red, both in nice condition. Some minor blemishes on the screen, but other than that, really nice shape. Um, and then a whole bunch of games here. What do we got? Uh, five, 10, probably 15 or 20 games. So uh, I'm gonna skip for time's sake. We got two fists full of Snickle Fritz here. There is one puzzle compilation in there that's kind of cool. Uh, Nintendogs. Yeah, the rest are junk. But some really cool stuff in here. Some stuff I didn't have, I was happy to see. Um, probably one of the better titles, Super Princess Peach. Uh, Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. I can't remember which one that is. That's the, I think that's a later one. Um, happy to find this, Neopets Puzzle Adventure. Never heard of this one, and I'm actually kind of excited. I'm going to look that up and see what type of game it is. It looks like a puzzle game, obviously, but it's uh, made by Capcom, so probably be keeping that one. New Super Mario Bros. Uh, really happy to find this. Uh, Medios, um, Disney version. So Medios is a really good puzzle game. Medios. Uh, Yoshi's Island DS. And uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. 
So really good bundle. Um, as you saw from the video, I, I got it for 20 bucks. I just asked what they wanted. They said, oh, I don't know. What would you offer? And I said, would you take 20? And they said, yep. Um, $20 was a common theme today. Uh, pretty much, or usually 20 bucks will close almost any deal, to be honest here. A $20 bill is pretty standard. Next up, this was the last score I picked up of the day. Um, the third and final Super Nintendo. I picked up three Super Nintendos today. Uh, I pulled up at a sale, asked the guy if he had video games. Actually, I asked the neighbor. He heard, this guy heard me ask him. He said, oh, I have a Super Nintendo. I'm like, great, would you be willing to bring it out? He said, come back in a half hour. Came back and uh, didn't have it out. He only had some NES stuff and Xbox. Uh, he said he didn't want to sell it. Um, I said that I can give him as much as 60 bucks. Uh, he said he'd call me if he decided to sell it. His wife talked him into it before I got in the car. He went and got it. Um, turned out that it was pretty yellow, but you can see the top is yellow and the bottom's okay, so I'll put the yellow top and I'll have one fully special edition gold consoles. Uh, every one I got today was in good shape. It has that little piece that usually breaks off, so very happy there. Um, we got two controllers, power cables, and four games. The games are okay. Uh, we got uh, Boxing, Legends of the Ring, Mario World, Super Street Fighter 2, Ken Griffey's Baseball. Um, so I said I can offer you 40 for this stuff. Uh, he said, how about 45? I said, I'll do 45 if you throw in the NES games, which he did. Uh, Bad News Baseball, WrestleMania, Ice Hockey, and Junior Jeopardy, Junior Edition Jeopardy. So 45 bucks for all that stuff. On any day, I would have been happy to find that, but today that was my worst of the Super Nintendo bundles. Um, I guess I'll go into this next one. I think this might be my favorite pickup of the day, um, only because it's been a long time since I've found um, a Super Nintendo specifically just sitting out waiting to be bought. And uh, this was sitting, as I said, um, just like this. Hopefully you can see that. Super Nintendo, $10. I asked if they had games. Um, right as he's about to, or right as I ask, I see this. I'm like, oh, there are games right there. So, turned out to be a really good bundle. $10. Um, this system is really clean. Uh, it still has the piece, like I said. The systems were really nice. There's actually three controllers in here. AV cables, all the stuff's in really nice shape. Uh, I'm really happy that there was three controllers in there. I'm uh, running out of extra Super Nintendo controllers and some good games. Um, we got Lion King, another Super Mario World, uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Super Mario Kart, uh, Ma Mickey Mania, The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse. I can't remember if I have that. Uh, I know I don't have this one. The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Really happy to get that in such good condition too. Also had three or four of these, which is nice. Um, I eventually want to get one for each game, so I always harvest those. Um, yeah, so 10 bucks for that deal. Two more boxes of stuff and it's all good stuff. I'll start with this one. This box here was probably my biggest surprise of the day, so. Uh, went to a sale, asked the lady if she had games. She said, yes, we do, they're inside, come on in. On the way in, I said, uh, has anybody else looked at them? And she said, no, you get first crack at it or something like that. So thank God, because there was some decent stuff. First things I see on the table are these two games. We got Super Mario World uh, Advance 2 or whatever. Uh, Super Mario Kart. Um, and a copy of Super Mario Land. Apparently they sold the Game Boys previously. It actually might have even been to me. So, A um, couple GameCube games I grabbed. These are going to go to Matt. He's collecting GameCube stuff. The Sims. Naruto, Naruto, somebody always corrects me on that. Spartan Total Warrior, I remember this is a pretty good game from what I remember. I think I have it on the PS2, so I think those are probably going to Matt. <coughs> a couple PS2 games there, this is the only one that interests me. Taiko Drum Master, um, that was it, it that was on the table, then she said, oh we have a Wii over there, and then after that she said we have a PSP and a PS2, so I got it all. Um, this was with the Wii stuff. Matt was mentioning how badly he wanted one of these, so that turned out well, and that'll go to Matt. It's a micro controller. It's a really tiny controller made by Mad Cats. <coughs> uh, 
Um, I'll start with the, I guess, the Wii games. Wii Sports, uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves, probably the best of the bunch. Rayman, Raving Rabbits, and TMNT. They're all complete in good shape. Um, next up, PSP. It's a PSP Fat. I actually haven't even opened this thing yet. Hopefully it's in decent condition. It's in nice condition, actually. That's very good for an original. Nice shape, that's that's a bonus. Really nice condition. Uh, only two games, we got Avatar and happy to find this because I don't have it, Bomberman. So that's, pick, pick that up. Um, there's a bunch of controllers, two PS2 controllers. Uh, we've got a set of, uh, we've got two Wii nunchucks and two Wii remotes. Uh, PS2 Slim system, Rock Band, and then the uh, the Wii. Uh, I was mentioning on the stream that Wii's actually still sell for a decent amount of money. I, I put them with a game and a nunchuck and controller and I usually get around $60 for them. So uh, they're good little systems. People buy them to mod them now. So there's a decent little market for, for Wii systems. If you can get them for 10 or 20 bucks, they're worth picking up uh, to recoup costs of you know the other games you're buying. Uh, so yeah, all that stuff, bunch of controllers, cables, um, 50 bucks, got it for $50, which is a great deal. I should hopefully <coughs> make that investment back, uh, with the, with the Wii alone. So, okay. And the final pickup of the day, uh, I was pretty surprised. I actually didn't look at it. Um, I asked if they had video games. She brought out a box. Uh, there was an NES in there and I could see some games. Uh, there's some Genesis games in the bottom. So I asked if they had the Genesis and they did. So Initially I paid 20 for whatever was in this box. Um, I'll do that a lot of times, I won't look at it, so it's more fun to go through it with you guys if I don't know what's in there. Um, so I offered 20 bucks and they were they jumped at that. I didn't, I didn't think that they thought it was worth even 20 bucks. So um, yeah, and then I offered, I gave them another five for the uh, Genesis. So again, we've got two controllers, uh, six button on the Genesis, all the cables. Uh, two NES controllers, two controllers for each. We've got the NES, which actually had a bonus game, Mario 3. I actually didn't realize there were so many games. There's 18 games total, and uh, there's some really good stuff. Quattro Adventure, or Quattro Sport, uh, Mario 3, uh, Pac-Man. I don't think I have Pac-Man. Um, and again, they had a bunch of these sleeves, so I'm about 50 away from having a sleeve for each game, so... It's nice to have those. Kung Fu. No particular order here. Uh, Spy Hunter. Mega Man 2. Very happy to find that. We got Donkey Kong 3. I don't think I have that. Rad Racer 2. I think there's like four or five games I don't have here. So, I mean, that makes it even better. Mick Kids. Uh, Mike Tyson Punch Out, best one in the bunch in my opinion, Mega Man 6, definitely going in the collection, very happy to find that. Uh, Nintendo World Cup, one of my favorites, RC Pro-Am. Another copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, Galaga. Mario Duck Hunt. Excite Bike. And Tetris. So 18 games, like, and good stuff. Like, a lot of this stuff I don't typically see. Even, like, the Rad Racers, um, you know, RC Pro-Am. I'd much, I'm, I'm happy to see that stuff instead of, like, Jimmy Connors tennis and golf or whatever. Uh, a couple miscellaneous things here. Red PS2 memory card randomly in the bottom there. And then a couple Genesis games. We got Sonic Spinball Loose. Streets of Rage 2. NBA Live 90 Snickle Fritz and Tiny Toons Adventures um, Acme All Stars, like a sports game. Matt was telling me that he played this. It's pretty fun. Um, I think that I don't think I have that either. So, uh, yeah, 25 bucks for that deal. Surprising deal. I, I saw like five or six games. I had no idea there was 18 games in there. And I had no idea that they were that quality. So, really nice surprise. Um, I gotta say this is probably just looking around here. This has gotta be a top five day of all time for me. 
Um, it's just really interesting how this works out. Um, I didn't do anything special today. It just kind of, things just kind of worked out in my favor. Um, you know, I always say uh, it's 90% skill and effort and 10% luck. Um, luck comes in, you know, luck is finding something like this. You know, if you go to a garage sale and you're hitting 80 to 100 garage sales like I do, um, and you're looking for games, uh, it takes, you know, it takes a lot of work and some skill knowing where to go, uh, what to say. It takes some skill to get video games. Luck is the difference between finding this and this. That's where luck comes in. So that's when I, when I've said before, it's 90% skill and effort and 10% luck. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I meant. So, um, anyways, guys, that's it for this week. Like I said, as always, you can find me on Twitch at 1 PM going through my finds the day I find them. Um, let me know in the comments below uh, what your favorite thing I picked up this week was, what you think is the best or most valuable. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for watching. Until the next episode. I'm done. I want to say bye. Okay, stand right there. They can see you there. Bye. Wave and say bye. <laughs>